to my channel this is live right now today I'm doing a review slash lip swatches on the new black opal color splurge luxe matte lipstick it's a tongue twister and uh, they are very moisturizing um as you can see from the lip swatches I keep going back and forth because it's it's lipstick and it's it's matte but it's not a dry matte or as they say in Mac um uh, a retro matte but um it feels so good on the lips it, it, it it, it's equivalent, I would say, to not as exactly like the Revlon lip butters, but really similar as far as them not feeling like a lipstick. It just feels luxurious. And this is what the packaging looks like. Very pretty. It has the names on top of here, but I can't get it to focus. But another thing I like about them is. I put I store them upside down because they have these colored things on the bottom of them where you can see what color it is. See that? That's so convenient when you put them up, you can just grab exactly what you need and you don't have to wonder which one it is. So that part I love. Beautiful, aren't they? And the colors actually look like what they say on the bottom. That's another thing that's rare too. Normally, when you see the color, you go, "Oh, it don't, it don't look like that." Cause this is the red that I have on now. And see, it looks like it. So yes, I'm right on. <laughs> I'm gonna start off from the lightest pink up to the brightest red, which I'm wearing now. Okay, the first color that I'm going to be talking about is the, it's called Sassy. Altogether, they have seven matte colors. I thought that it was only five because they only had five at my local CVS. So I was a little disappointed to see they had two more. Now I'm going to go try to find those. And if I do, I will come back to you guys with that. Now again, this is called Sassy. It's like a baby pink, but I normally can't get away with baby pink, but with all of these lipsticks, I can get away with wearing it without a lip liner. I'm gonna give you a swatch on my hair. And it's kind of sheer a little bit. I think that's the reason why I can get away with it because it's not like, um, like a lip tar or something where the color is so pigmented where I can't get away with it. And then the next color is called Fashion Fuchsia. It looks like this. Let me see this watch. To me, this color is, I got this, a lot of this color. It's all right. Here lately, I've been more into the more vibrant fuchsias, but a good thing this would be for, because I can have a tendency of going a little overboard on the eyes normally. I toned it down today for you guys so y'all can concentrate on the lipstick. So in that case, it'd be good because if you have an eye that's got a lot going on, you really don't want a really bright pink. So it'd be good for that. Um, next color is called Jazzberry. And it's to me, is very similar to the fuchsia color. Let me get that. Well, this is what it looks like, I'm sorry. And I guess it would be a good time to swatch it side by side. Okay, this is the Jazzberry. It is the fashion fuchsia that I just showed you a few minutes ago. I'm put that next to it. Oh, it is different. Okay, it's different. The um, the fuchsia, the fashion fuchsia is more of a pink color and this jazzberry is more of like a valid purple color that's cool this color is more of an orange red and i can't decide which if i like this one better or that one better it's beautiful it's called atomic flame i really do like this color look at that ladies put it on the hand And again, these colors are kind of sheer, but I like the fact that they're sheer. I, again, because I can wear my lip liner and it's not so overpowering. See, this is the. Oh, mm, this is the atomic red. This is more like an orangey red. I love it. 
Okay, and then the last color is what I'm wearing now, and it is called Vampy Red. And it looks like this. Mm, Cause I can, you know what? Let me try to swatch it next to the orange red and see if you can see a difference. Ooh. Okay, this is the atomic red, which I said is more like an orangey red, and this is a vampy red. You can see that's a red, a red, red. Both of them are gorgeous. They look similar on my hand, but on my lips, they don't look similar. <laughs> you see with the swatches. Um, all in all, I really love these lipsticks. Normally, when I get a, it's a collection out. Normally, even though I'm missing two, I'll. I, with these five lipsticks, I normally would not like all of them. Now, don't get me wrong, the um, the fuchsia one, I got so much of that color that it really wouldn't benefit me. Because at one point, if it wasn't if it wasn't fuchsia, I didn't wear it. <laughs> but over the years, I've learned to use more colors. But um, they are very moisturizing. The lipsticks are um, feel so smooth on the lips. They are. Um, you don't need a lip liner. It don't bleed. It doesn't bleed. Um, I, I, can't, I, I can't say whether or not it's long lasting or not because I um, brush my teeth quite frequently because I have braces. <laughs> so um, I can't say that it's long lasting because I, I brush my teeth every time I eat. So I'll have to wipe the lipstick off. But um, but it feels so good going on. And if I had to, re when I recoat it, it's wonderful in my lips. Or feel so moisturized when I take them off. Well, I hope you will go out and try these lipsticks for yourself. Thank you for spending this time with me. And don't forget to subscribe, share, and be your own kind of beautiful because you are beautiful. Bye.